Did you know we don't have the original manuscripts for the New Testament documents? It's true. Sometimes the earliest copy we have is centuries after the fact, and when we compare the most ancient copies we have, they vary in thousands of different places. So why are we calling this the inerrant Word of God if we don't have the originals, and the copies we have have so many variations? Well, number one, the variations are incredibly minor. They don't impact the nature of Jesus or any orthodox theological principle in Christianity. But number two, we have so many copies we're able to compare pair those copies to one another, identify the variants, and then remove them so we can return reliably to the inerrant original. And that's why we call this biblical inerrancy, because we know what the original said based on how many manuscripts we have. That's why you can have certainty about what happened in the first century related to Jesus of Nazareth.